I'm Christophe from Belgium and I work for a Belgium company, a consultancy company. We do uh, data science and data engineering for big companies. And uh, there I'm leading the engineering, especially for the, our new product, which is a data platform, using the, the transport, the archiving, the governance and tracking of data. I started to program in Ruby in uh, 2010 when I started to write web application. And uh, at that time, the choice was quite simple, was between Ruby and Python. And we tried uh, Rails and uh, Django for, for Python. And finally, we, we, we kept Ruby and uh, I felt in love with it. It was so expressive and uh, easy to use. And uh, finally, I've, uh, I've built a, a business on top of it to, do, to automate the code review for Ruby code, kind of a competitor of Code Climate. Uh, the name was uh, Pool Review. But um, yeah, I've continued to program in Ruby since then, uh, even if, I've, if I closed the, the, the business. Uh, unfortunately, today I do less and less Ruby but I keep the, the spirit and uh, I try to reproduce everything that is great in Ruby in other programming languages. So in my talk, I'm talking about onboarding developers and it's, uh, it's something I had to do for, the, the, for a few years now. And I realized with the time that it was a very important process in the, in the life of a development team. Something that you cannot just put aside especially if you don't want to hurt the team. So I will share how we do it now, uh, strong for, from our experience, and uh, what are the kind of uh, things you need to keep in mind and the pitfalls you would like to avoid. Okay. Perfect. Stay Hey, if you would like to watch my talk, just click on that link.